So I've been wanting to do like a wikiHow videos for a while and I know there's a lot of pages on wikiHow that are of like usually being about some like taboo subject matter or something of the like. But I think wikiHow as a whole has just this very strange kind of almost uncanny atmosphere that I want to tap into. I might go into the more like taboo stuff later on but for now I just want to like find random pages i've got this randomizer i just want to find these like random pages and just see what's going on for example for right now we have how to identify a case hond and they have a paragraph here explaining what they are but i think we'll get all this from the actual body of the page so let's just power on forward and first part is examining the head and face and that is um that is terrifying so I don't actually know what caissons look like in real life, but piercing almost human eyes, I think, is a very prominent feature from what I see. Okay, the first step they have here is identify a wedge-shaped head. I don't want to read everything out directly, but the first sentence they have here, in a few too many words, that the head should be wedge-shaped. Then they either go on to say that the head should be neither too large nor small, but normal size. Like, it seems a bit unnecessary to specify. You now their head is like, you know, they're not one of those dogs with just the massive heads. I mean, it's all very repetitive. Like, already they have another sentence here saying that if the head is not a wedge shape, then it's probably not a case on. Every picture is like a jump scare on a wiki how it's terrible like I'm recording this at literally at three in the morning and I feel like I'm gonna open my bedroom door and one of these dogs is gonna be waiting for me. It says they have dark brown medium sized almond shaped eyes. Which again are a normal distance apart, which none of these are really defining characteristics of dogs, you know, like I think the vast majority of dogs have brown eyes and being a medium sized and a normal length apart is doesn't really tell you anything. Alright, um part three of part one is identify the spectacles. Apparently they're supposed to look like they have glasses on, which I am um, it says these dogs are from Germany and the Netherlands. I don't know what glasses look like there, but I don't feel like I really want to go there after reading this. Part four is look for erect ears, which is not, it's not really a good word to use to describe ears, isn't it? Like stiff or upright. The right up here goes out of its way to explicitly call the ears erect several times, like even the bullet point that says non-erect ears are a disqualification. Is that like their dichotomy, their binary of the world, that your ears are erect or non-erect? Part two is observing the body, which is kind of a menacing title from a few different points of view. The first subsection is identify a compact body. This picture actually kind of isn't too bad. The dog looks a lot more like friendly and reasonable looking from a far out view, at least in this art style. And well, so much for that. Part two is inspect the thickness of its coat. It says it has a thick coat. And it actually has a pretty reasonable write up for this section, I think. It goes into like details, all the different parts, and, like the subtleties of how the coat should change, which is seems to be actually helpful. Part three is examine the fore and hind legs. It says the forelegs should look straight and well boned, which, which I mean, how can you tell with all that fur above, right above their paws, right? So part four, subsection four is identify a tightly curled tail over its back. Having like a photo of this, I think would, it would be clear, but from this photo, it looks like the dog doesn't have a tail and it's just like wearing a toupee on its butt. They tried to draw a red arrow to kind of show you the flow of the tail, I guess, but it just, it's just drawing attention to the toupee, really. Yeah, like this is a more reasonable picture of the tail curl. And it explains all the colors, coloring and all that. 
Part 3 is assessing its temperament. Subsection 1 is notice its tendency for companionship. I think I'm going to be focusing more on the art style here. The art style of WikiHouse in general is so, like, weird. It's hard to get a perspective on this photo. Like, I think from the relative size that's a child, and it kind of looks like the child just, like, threw the dog, but it doesn't quite make sense. But it also, I don't think, really makes sense for it to be the dog just laying next to the child. Given that the dog, that would make the dog, I think, like, twice the size of the kid. Maybe they're just massive, but it says they were compact. I don't know. Subsection 2 is see that it responds well to reward-based training, which, I mean, it is a dog, so... Subsection 3 is examine its alertness and intelligence. The alertness I get with, like, the Metal Gear Solid exclamation marks above that dog's head, but intelligence they have with, like, jumping over a stick, which seems like a very odd way to measure intelligence to me. Like, if you went to Mensa, they wouldn't just, like have a high jump set up, right? Why Why is a dog intelligent if it can jump over like a knee-high stick? I also like how a step in identifying the breed of dog is seeing how well it responds to training. Like, like someone brings you their dog for like you to check out the breed and all that and you're gonna like teach it a full set of tricks as part of understanding its breed. And then the um, article just kind of cuts off. That's a weird thing about WikiHouse. They never really properly end. And they have related WikiHouse, which seem to just be identifying different breeds. I don't know what they're doing to identify the Rottweiler, but I like how for identifying a Labrador, part of it is like seeing if it has been certified as a Labrador. And all right. This has been everything, I think. I don't know where else to go for this video. To be honest, I don't know how well this one is going to turn out, but I'm trying to boost my, like, content output rate. I'm trying to get more stuff done. I'm trying to test out different formats, so this might be hit or miss. I'll... I might try this again in the future. I will see how it goes. I shouldn't be setting people up to dislike it, I guess, so whatever. All right, thank you for watching.